Okay, so I'm gonna make chicken pie. Um, my short crust pastry is still in the fridge, chilling. So I'm gonna prepare all the vegetables first with the chicken, get them cooking, and then when I'm leave, uh, when it's cooling for a little bit, then I'll get the pastry out um, and roll it out. So I'm gonna start, you notice I've got a red board for the raw meat and green board for the vegetables. So I'm gonna start with the raw meat. Um, I defrosted the chicken in the, in the microwave, so it's slightly cooked in places. Um, so remember to use the bridge and the claw technique for cutting. I have already washed my hands. So I'm just going to cut these into smaller chunks. Of even size. I'm using the claw technique just to keep it still as I cut. So I had three chicken breasts in the freezer, um, so this will be enough to serve for three people. And the pastry is, is, is in definitely enough for a pie. Okay, so that's the chicken prepared. I'm not going to wash my hands. So I've washed my hands, now I'm going to prepare the vegetables. Now remember, if you don't have separate boards, make sure that you wash thoroughly wash your board and your knife um, preparing the vegetables. So, um, you can probably use whatever vegetables you've got in the, in the store cupboard. I had an onion, small onion, a um, bit of a pepper and a leek. I'm going to add in some uh, frozen peas, maybe some sweet corn, and just any vegetables that you've already got in the cupboard, to be honest. So I'm going to start with the, um, with the onion. So to cut an onion, I'm just going to peel off the, the paper bits. So um, the root to the bottom here. So I'm going to use the bridge technique to cut it from top to bottom. I'm then going to cut the root part off. No, not going to cut the top part off. And then it's easier to peel. She says it is easier to peel. So I've got any nails. Okay, so I've finished peeling. I've kept the root intact. So on the onion, you've actually got some guidelines there anyway. So I'm going to use the claw technique to slice down. I'm not going to cut all the way to the end. So I'm going to rotate it and use claw to go down. By not cutting it to the end, um, the root keeps it intact. Do the same. So the lines on the the onion. Okay, onion's done. I'm going to use part of the pepper for lunch, so I'm just going to trim down the other sides and discard of the middle. And again, use your technique to cut it into strips. Or julienne, and I'm going to dice it okay okay so I'm just gonna separate the pepper and the onion because I want to pre want to saute the onion first. Sauté means to cook quickly in a little bit of oil, so I'll need to cook that first. Okay, so the onion is there ready, pepper is there ready. So the leek, just going to top and tail it. 
take the top, probably about a couple of centimetres from the top. Okay, peel the outer layer off. And then I'm going to use the, the bridge technique to cut down the centre. Now you, this, when you open it, you'll probably see some bits of grit and bits of sand in it. So I'm going to go and wash them. Okay, so I've washed um, in between the leaves. So I'm now going to just use the claw technique just to slice them. pepper or prepped. Okay, I'm going to go to the, over to the um, hob to cook it off. Okay, I'll start by spraying some fry light or a little bit of oil or you can put a little bit of butter if you want to in the top of the pan. And the first thing I'm going to do, like I said before, is to saute the onion. in the chicken. I'm going to use the underside of the knife so I don't blunt the knife. Okay, I'm now going to add in the rest of the vegetables because the, um, the chicken has changed colour from sort of pinky to white, so it's been sort of sealed. So, in the leek. And the peppers. the pepper because it gives a bit of colour. You could have mushrooms, um, okay so it's been slowly cooking for a bit. Okay I've boiled the kettle, I'm just going to season a bit of salt, some pepper, tarragon or you can put mixed herbs in but chicken and tarragon go together I've poured the kettle so I'm now going to add in the chicken oxo cube if you don't have a chicken you can use a vegetable I'm now going to put in about 100 millilitres of water. Okay. And I'm also going to put a splash of milk in as well. Okay, let that cook for a bit. 
about 10 minutes. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I've removed my pastry from the fridge. Nice and chilled. Got my pie dish ready. My uh, chicken mixture is ready. It's been cooling for a little bit. Um, I added a little touch of cream because I like my pie a little bit creamy. The liquid, um, the sauce was a bit liquidy, so I added a little bit of corn flour to it just to thicken it. But that's entirely up to you. Okay. So, first surface. I'm only going to use pastry on the top of my pie. If you want on the bottom, then I would suggest perhaps another uh, 50 grams of flour and 25 grams of butter. So I'll keep turning it, rotating it. You'll notice that it is a little bit um, what we call short at the sides. So it's a bit um, sort of crumbly at the sides, which is perfect. What you want. That is about the size. Oops. Okay, so I'm now going to pour the filling into there. Perfect. I've already preheated the oven to 180 degrees. So now I'm going to carefully Lift the pastry up and layer it on the top. And because it hasn't got a pastry um, base, there's nothing for it to sort of stick to. So I'm just going to just press it against the edge of my dish. a knife it's a bit heavy to hold up to trim the edges I'll give it a go it's better just cut it down in one direction Brush, you can brush with an egg, but there's no need of milk. So, brush with so glaze to get the milk. And then pierce in the top. And then bake it in the oven for about half an hour. pie done and I'll show you. Okay so it's ready. As you can see um, it's nice and golden on top and it's certainly enough to serve at least four hungry people. Um, I only used three chicken breasts but I just filled it with lots of vegetables. So there you go short crust pastry chicken pie.